You stole my heart. Nice. That's crazy, dude. Just stop. Game's always like broken that, huh? when you lose. Yo, that's you crazy, like that. dude. We had a yeah, it's dude. Intro too. Yo, 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 yo. It's been a couple weeks, but Jeez. the boys are officially back on track to chase your mother's rack. I Whoa, know you heard those doing. vocals, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, dude. I've been practicing for a good uh, couple can you, hours. Can you not tell? Can no. you not tell that he's been practicing? You better tell. Uh, we took a couple weeks off. Obviously, last last week was Halloween week, and then the week before, they, something came up. Um, but yeah, it's been a couple weeks since we got together. The wine bottle drops. Um, got to do it. Uh, it's tradition. Tradition. Gotta, something gotta has drop to drop. Something. Got to unplug something. Got to got to fuck up somehow somehow and then we get the ball rolling we get it rolling okay you know how we start this off i gotta ask everybody how was, how your, was week? your week uh who wants to start whoa, off? whoa we either go left to right or right to left and let's go right to left chunky over there chunk i <clears throat> i popped my fucking hamstring boys oh, oh man. i was but you know now. what you know what i did not go out sad I was playing softball with my boy JD on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, jeez. And uh, we we're like two innings away from getting it done. And ground ball up the middle. I don't put my glove down. I barehand that bit. Yeah. Turn, pop, get the out. Wait, so a pop before you threw it? Yeah. Oh, my God. I twisted. Dude. I twisted. It was like a quick so, movement. Oh, and so I feel it mm -hmm. like... Right under my ass cheek. So it could be sciatic nerve. I've been like searching it up because I've already popped it once. But yeah, this week has just been fucking Brutal. icy hot in my fucking pores. Mm, uh, damn. Icy hot's clutch. It's really, it's really Again, good. So you hot. made that really throw good. off of sheer willpower I and did. determination. It was for after, Billy Ballas if Billy's watching. fucking the muscle in your hamstring just pulled from the bone. It pulled. My pupils got big. I can feel it. I felt it. like Pure adrenaline, baby. Pure, adrenaline. Adrenaline. Pure rush and will to fucking win. I love to see it. It, it was, was sick. It was a nice play. <laughs> JD's like, it was fucking heroic. It was. No, I, I was playing shortstop and the ball up the middle, I thought, I thought, Ah, uh, no one's getting that. Right. We'll, just, we'll just cover two. I wasn't and even covering two, to be honest. Well, I pause. Was... Um, you're a big ass. Yeah. Short yeah. <laughs> six guy, six no. fucking whatever. However much you weigh, at shortstop. Yeah. I'm guy's... sure you got great lateral movement, but if I saw you out there, but like, what the fuck is his big oh, ass Isaac, doing out Isaac, there? Listen, it makes this, no sense, Isaac. This guy. No, but the... it does because you can cover a lot of ground. No, actually, this guy's the best shortstop in the league. I'm gonna be clear yeah. with you. This guy's oh, a vacuum. He's got the soft hands, dude. Right? He is a va ever. For as long as I known him of my twenty look at that life. face. That For face. as long as I've known him as face, my brother. That face has soft hands. I hope oh, you know. I'm tender. This guy <laughs> bro, This guy Shout out defense. Emily. I'm tender. <laughs> this guy's defense is fun like Why aren't you in the league? Obviously, this is my brother. I've known him for my whole life. And this no one gave me a hand. Fan. This guy's hands might as well be sponsored don't, by Dove. Don't end up like Uncle Rico where you're telling, was, your, <laughs> where you're telling your nephew, I swear to God, if they just put me in and state. Fourth quarter. Uh, fourth quarter. We uh, would have won state. I would have thrown the ball over that mountain. Oh, uh, man. No, Um, but I played first in high school, so I, didn't, I couldn't display myself. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, like, when you play first and then the ball gets hit to you and you don't, like, field it, everybody looks at you like an asshole. Yeah. It's like, you know, you don't get to field off and be ready when it yeah. happens. You know? That's what sucks, dude. Like, it's like you're getting called to the moment. Everyone's watching you. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah. football, you can see, you can watch different players at the same play. Once the ball hits you in baseball, softball, all eyes are on you. Yeah, it's, it's you and that ball. Yeah. And whatever path that mother nature wants that ball to take. Because, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, every now and then you're just going to get a stupid fucking hop. Oh, my and gosh. And you're going to be like, oh, perfect right into my glove. Next thing you know, bounce. You think it's going to hit your lip. You fucking, you know, mm -hmm. you, do the, you do the jerk up. Yeah. And then, oh. you know, it just, it, it's horrible. I hate that's. Yeah, I'd rather do the jerk I haven't played baseball in like off so many years. <laughs> I'd rather jerk me off than jerk <laughs> it up, but it's fine. Dude, to finish so to finish that story, JD, I don't know if you know this, but that was my first ever cycle too. No, no, damn. Damn. Hey, you gotta, you gotta damn, you really, hey. I had for the really cycle that day, and one of those at bats, uh, what's the big black dude umpire? 
Bruce. Bruce. He was like, bro. He was like, bro. I have two torn, um, I don't know, some ligaments in his leg. He's like, don't swing, and I couldn't like let my body not swing. Yeah. I was a free out, so I just stood on my right leg, kept my left leg up, and I got a base knock. And that was wow. for the. That was oh, for the, the single was for the. Yeah, that was oh for the cycle, my dude. God. Yeah, it was, was a good way what to go. What a game out. from you. So Kurt you're telling Gibson? me you're telling me you got more hits than the Phillies last night. Oh, oh we with a fucking that. pulled <laughs> hamstring. <laughs> that's wow, crazy. That's crazy. So there was I saw this thing. This guy made a bet yesterday. Oh, uh, with the Sixers? The Six Listen. Oh, this guy God, bet the this is so rough. Such a bad beat. The Sixers hitting threes and the Phillies getting hits. It was combined 19 and a half. The, the Sixers made 19 threes. And, and the, the Phillies to get one hit. zero. Oh, and they got hit. Zero hits. Wow. That is that has to be the most so brutal wait, way like, to lose. Yeah, what if you so if you bet the under, you you win that bet. Yeah. Right? Oh my god. But everybody's thinking, oh, 19, like fuck. Bro, that's but just f- the pe- just it specifically sucks for the people with the over because the Phillies couldn't get just one hit. Because that's dude, crazy. obviously the game before they went off, they had like five home yeah, runs. They were, like yeah, they were they, yeah. they tore they tore up McCullers. Yeah, like tipping or not, that's still hard to do. Bro, Bro that, if uh, I'm a Phillies fan, I'm scared of shit right now. A little so? bit. Yeah, no, the Astros kinda I feel like they struck some fear and in Absolutely. The fucking Philadelphia, oh, yeah. and they're like, "Hey, you know, they, the Astros just whipped it out, put their dick on the table, and said, Dude. hey, this is this is it. This is what we got. What are you gonna do about it?'" And the Phillies said, "We're just gonna we're just gonna look at it, and <laughs> not do anything about it." You know. But just just think about that guy. Let's say he's in Vegas, right? Makes that bet. He's like, "Okay, <laughs> Phillies made fucking nineteen threes, dude." It's like the fourth inning turn the, on. The Phillies made nineteen. No, sorry, the, the, sorry, the Sixers made nineteen threes, right? Bryce Harper went off like Bryce seven Harper went off from dude, deep went or what? Fucking straight corner specialist, right? <laughs> um, no, but like, imagine you're making that bet, right? The Sixers hit nineteen threes. You turn the game on. It's like the fourth inning. No, hits. all you need is Philly to get one. That's never gonna game. happen oh in, in another hundred years. Never, I, never again. Never. I'm again. telling you, it's never gonna happen. No, wow. not a chance. And it happens to you on that night. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh God. I want to hand a yeah, paper right like, there. There's somebody that put a hundred k down on the over. Oh yeah, thinking they were about to cash out for like close to a milli. Yeah, and that happens, and mm-hmm. then they, they're out of a hundred fucking k. Yes, yeah. and that's why you gotta love betting. Yeah, that God. is nuts. Oh my God! It always goes back to how do sports betters know how do, how? how do the bookkeepers yeah. know how they know right they know. how the fuck did they know to put it at nineteen and a yeah. half and it was only gonna be nineteen. Ow, that is crazy, Somebody tell me, dude. Crazy. I don't even know, man. Um, JD. Hi. How was your week? Uh, it was good. Just a little bit of work. I Did think you... I, I feel like I say that all the time, but yeah. Oh wait, let me get on the camera. A little bit of work, a little bit of play, a little bit of soft, a little bit of ball. Did you text Grandpa about <laughs> softball tonight? Oh so, uh, well, speaking about how good I am at softball. I went over three on Tuesday. Eesh. Yeah, but I, you're, man, you're I, a man for saying that. You're yeah. a man for saying that. But I want to. Well, he that. has to because you were with him, be, and he can't lie. No, not Tuesday. They play. Oh. They, they, they play oh. Sunday. I, I, I multiple, swear you got a hit. I play oh, multiple I'm, nights. My oh man. wow! Oh okay. But no uh, softball professional. But yeah. I want to say that might be the first time I went over at Wilson Park in my career. Wow! <laughs> Little Damn. embarrassing. I, I, dude, I was so pissed. Man. It's okay, oh, man. Did it you was break a bat? Did you break a bat? Oh, in front of the hoes? In, in, oh my god, that's tough. But we're okay. Co-ed. <laughs> isn't co-ed. there a crazy stat? I know this is way out of the ballpark, but isn't Hit there a crazy me. stat that it. Albert Pujols has never gotten to a three-two count or something like that? No, in his sure. career, there's a crazy stat like that. He's definitely been in a three-two count. He played way too long to never be in a fucking 3-2 count. Are you kidding me? Bro, I swear. Or, like, it, it might even be crazier two strikes or some shit. Oh, um, let me see. But we can... You guys keep going on your week. Yeah, is that everyone's week? Uh, Isaac, how was how was your week, man? Uh, didn't do shit for Halloween. Had a good time. Okay. Just fucking smoked, drank, ate good food. Fell okay. asleep early. Nice. It's a fucking great Halloween now that I'm, you know, older, don't really give a fuck. Saw everybody else go to the party and yeah. you know, dress up and, you know, do their do their thing. And I was like, Oh, okay, that's cool. And you know, y'all have fun. 
I'm going to bed. And I had a good time. Oh, yeah. Good you for know? you, man. I was, and I was also working, you know, making good money. Yeah. Can't complain. Making good drinks. You know mm-hmm. the deal. Oh, um, absolutely. Check out my snap if you want to look at those fucking good drinks. Shout out your Plug snap your right snap. now. Plug it. Shout it out. Honestly, I don't even know what it is. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> we'll we'll put it in. That's a great right, or J- JD. Uh, I got you. Holden. Yeah, put it. Put it I'll put everyone's edit, edit Instagrams in. and everything, right? I, about... I need to make an Instagram. I'm about to make an Instagram. You, know, so. what the you don't have an Instagram? I don't, but I will by the time he edits it. So Dude, it's going to be, be right honest, here. Bro. My Instagram. Instagram's a flop now. No, it you is. Don't like but it? Like for... Instagram's just TikTok. That's how I found out uh, Takeoff passed away. Was it Graham? Yeah. Uh, I found out on Twitter. Dude, is it? Moment of silence. Wow. Dude. Did you do it? You do it on purpose, No, 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 no. Though. You hit that out of nowhere. Yeah. I'm talking in sense that you go, moment of silence. Yeah. Because <laughs> you just laughed man, during no, the. No, but it's funny because everyone. No, everyone was fucking. Everyone knew exactly. It was silent. Like, no noise. Like, everyone just. Yeah, because it's the men take. But no, I was going to say this, though, dude. Like, have you noticed a lot of our pad- podcasts, like, someone dies the day before? Takeoff are, dies. Whoa. Are we a bad luck podcast? Vince Goley dies. Um, Bill Russell dies. Oh, my God. Now this guy, Ray Guy, dies. He was a freaking... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm telling you. Someone dies every time before we film Are we the podcast of oh. death? I don't know. Wait, who's Ray Jeez. what? Ray, 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 Ray Guy. Fucking Hall of Fame punter from the NFL. He played in the Oh, 50s. yeah. Rick Duh, up, BJ, get your shit oh, yeah. Are we the Nick Castellanos of podcasts? Oh, oh my shoot. god, I think we are. Oh my. T-shirts, that'll be t-shirts, trademark, Dude. copyright. Play that, play that video. I want to. I want to see that video. I'll tell again. you what. Nick I'll tell you this after, but yeah. did no? Did, tell me now. Remember, I can't. It's like confidential. Like, ah, fuck. You remember what I just told you guys when I showed up here? No. Nope. Talking about death. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. His girlfriend oh die, yeah. His his girlfriend didn't die by the way. So. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you yeah. after. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would hope so. I think he would be a little more devastated if she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay, <laughs> man, dudes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're reacting to Nick Castellanos. <laughs> yeah. Let me like, frame <laughs> this up real quick. You guys talk about something real schlippity quick. All right, quick, quick story at work. Me and Colton work together. Boom, mm-hmm. newsflash. So we're at work. Stupid song comes on the radio. It happens. Wherever you work and there's music being played, you're going to sing. You're, you're going to yeah. get a dumb song every now and then. It's just inevitable. So there was this one song. I forgot how it went, but I was singing it. I like made sure Colton heard it. I sang it to him. And then he heard it, internalized it, and then just repeated on singing it throughout the shift. And it was fucking hilarious. And here's a little sample of what it sounds like. You stole my heart. It was like bad. It was bad. <laughs> so he does that loud as fuck in the middle of the restaurant. Like, where everybody can hear and see, right? So and, and it's dead. Like it's not. No, even loud. Yeah, it's, it's not like, like we're we have a, four tables. Yeah, we're we get busy like at night normally, but it's a slow lunch. You know, middle of the day. Yeah, we have, like four tables. There's one person at the bar. Mm-hmm. One of his customers at the table, like next to where he was singing, like literally right next it, to the bar, because he's faced away from her. She's like right behind him, just like staring at him, just as he's just <laughs> belting out. Bro, I get fucking into it. vocals. I get into it. And then he turns <laughs> he turns around and she <laughs> goes, Um, I heard that. And also it's my friend's birthday, so can we do something? And Colin's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for like sure. I went <laughs> You stole my heart. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. No, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Do you want like a birthday Sunday or something? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe how like calmly he just played it off as if he wasn't just an R and B sensation right in front of her I'm for about you, three seconds. Go to local kitchen when me and Isaac are working when it's slow, and you'll see. Oh some my magic. god, you'll see something happen. You're gonna see. You're gonna hear something. Oh, okay. And you know the, you know the video. Um, that feeling when you take your first shot of Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the low person. Taking yeah. Shot. Yeah. The 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 dwarf. <laughs> 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 
Like we're talking about it, and guess who walks in, dude? It. Guess who walks in? No, Robbie Barra, right there. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh man, I just love it. Oh, we're watching this, yeah, yeah. boy. I Wait, love this. I love this. That moment, you take that shot of Hennessy, huh? <laughs> 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 it's funny because uh, go back like rewind or keep watching right oh he looks up when he before he goes eh, i just want to chill i bet you he's looking at someone's kneecap right now dude i just want to chill take that shot of hands Oh, man. Uh, that, that's one of the greatest videos ever oh, yeah. made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Jenny, show us some freaking Nick Castellanos, man. Oh, okay, yeah, Before yeah, yeah, we yeah. get to that, Bolton, how the fuck was your week? Yeah. Oh. Just working. Dude, I'm telling you, man, like, these guys Bolton talking about softball, and that's like, that's the team I'm supposed to be on. Oh. That's my team. And, oh, and you're working. I don't, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't have a life outside of work anymore except the podcast and, and that. Oh, big announcement. Um. I am 100% committing on being a streamer. So I'm going to be Woo! grinding my ass off uh, to be a streamer. And I'm way, way excited. All the way, way. Uh, I'm going balls to the wall. I'm talking to this girl, this girl on Fiverr. She's a logo designer. I'm talking to her. Um, I'm getting a new logo. I'm getting a new setup, the ring light. I got the, I got the new camera that we're looking at right now. Uh, so we're going balls to the wall. November 16th, Warzone drops. That's when the official channel rolls out. And uh, awesome. we're going, man. The channel's name is going to be Colt Exotic. Uh, that's my PlayStation name, so I just stuck with it. You know, so uh, that's my week. Halloween was chill. Went to my aunt's house. Had a little bonfire. Passed out candy. Had some barbecue. Um, went to Disney yesterday, obviously. It's a one-week thing. One time. one Once a week type of thing. Uh, it was dead as shit. Walked on every ride. That was cool. Hey. Uh, got margarita in the in the hydro flask, snuck it in there. Uh, makes Disney way more way, way more fun. Uh, but yeah, watch some baseball highlights when I get home from work. Watch the Packers for two minutes, and then it was like, ah, I'm done. They're dead. Um, we didn't we'll get, get anyone. Pay deadline. The we'll pack we'll is get dead, that. and they're not moving either. They uh, stay dead. They stay dead in the water. Didn't try to do anything mm -mm. while other teams in their division were making yes. trades with each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me TJ Hawkinson's on the fucking what block. What is that trade? But how, who who trades? Whatever. And why are you not why are you not trading everything to get him with Aaron? Are you kidding me? Tight end like that. Brandon Cooks could have could have. Oh my god, dude, that's unfucking believable. Like. You know, a lot of the fans are like, you know, oh, the coach. It's a front office. Yeah. It's a general manager. Yes. Like, these are the people who need to be held accountable. Yes. It's Brian Guntekunst, right? Yep. That motherfucker. Yep. Get a, be get a better <laughs> He's name, He's been fucking idiot. this up since he drafted what's-his-face in he, the first round. He has not drafted a single well, I received difference for the first maker round. yet. Yeah. Oh. All, yeah. All Maybe. The, their entire defense is made of first and second rounders. And they're like one of the worst defenses in the league. Yep. Oh, it's most kind of, over it's kind of embarrassing. Most overhyped defense in oh, my lifetime. Uh, possibly of all time. I don't well, know why I'm so worked up about this, bro. Like <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Imagine an actual yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I mean, that's just that's ridiculous. You can't have it. You can't have it. You go back to back fucking NFC championships. Yep. And then this. Yep. And then no moves. No moves. Nada? You know what was a downfall of the Packers, I'm going to be completely honest with you, is when the freaking guy dropped the onside punt, onside kick against the Seahawks in 2014. Oh. That was, that was, yeah, the, you're right. That's that when started the decline. Yeah. Literally, it was nothing but because that, that was a Super Bowl team. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. We would have beat the freaking Patriots. That should Patriots. have been, you're right. That should have been a Tom Brady versus yep. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers Super Bowl. That mm -hmm. dude wasn't even supposed to catch it on that onside Didn't kick. Didn't we drop, dude? I'm, I'm loud as shit right now. Ooh. Yeah. Didn't they drop him the next day? Yeah. Yep. They, the Packers have done that before. I went to a game, Packers at Rams. Ty Montgomery dropped a a kickoff oh. that would have put Rogers, the ball in Rogers' hands with like a minute and a half left to win the game. Dropped the kick, uh, cut him the next day. 
Bad and he was players. like a decent player too. Ty no, Montgomery no, didn't was he, good. Yeah, didn't he catch it? And he didn't take a knee. He tried to run it out of bounds. Oh, to run yeah, it. that too. Yeah, no, he, uh, he caught fumbled. it in the end zone and fumbled. Yep. Jeez. Yep. 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 Yeah, because they didn't they teach him like yo. They told him to just take a knee. Yeah, and put the ball in Rogers' hand. Whatever. And that was whatever. <laughs> okay, let's watch Nick Castellanos. <laughs> yeah. uh, JD, let's get a uh, Kings corner <laughs> after this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am deeply ashamed of. Um, if I have hurt anyone out there, I can't tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart, I'm so very, very sorry. I pride myself and think of myself as a, this is so brutal. a man of faith. As there's a drive in a deep left field by Castellanos, it will be a home run. <laughs> oh, and so that will make it a gosh. 4 nothing ball game. Imagine you're given the apology of your life. Again. And you still have to call. Yeah. You, ha you still have Literally, to do your job. Your fucking job, salary, and livelihoods on the line, trying to apologize, and this motherfucker just decides to go yard in the middle of your shit. For context, on uh, if you've never seen this video, so this guy right here is obviously an announcer for the Reds, and he got caught on air, but he didn't know he was on air saying the f word, but as the gay slur. Um. He was talking about San Francisco, and it was the F capital of the world. That's what he said. He would have been better off. He would have been better off saying the real F word. Is that, is that yeah, they were talking about San Francisco. I think are they playing? No, they're not playing the San Francisco. They're about they're about yeah. to play. You never heard that, Isaac? And he says, "No, I didn't know that." Word. Hold on, let me. Nah, I won't no, no, you can't play it. No, no, no. no, no. But he goes, it's the F capital of the world. Oh, <laughs> on laptop. And we're not laughing about the word, but it's just like. The fact that he said that. He I'll said give it. him a sliver. Think of that face saying that. <laughs> saying that. Yeah. I'll give oh, him a sliver go. of uh, leeway oh. because it was in between innings and the, the TV broadcast mistakenly still had his mic hot. Oh, he didn't know he was hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you you still can't still, say I that. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I know, but yeah. There's a it's lot true. of other ways to describe how gay San Fran is without calling it that. Let's like, who is he talking to? It's the fruit capital of the world. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Even that that's so a little. Bad. Yeah. That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Oh, my but God. It's just... No, because it's funny because that reminds me of Daniel Tosh. He did a stand up in San Francisco one time uh -huh. and he opened up with, like, Oh, San Francisco, love you guys. He goes, he goes more butt fucking per square inch than anywhere else in the world. Hell yeah. He's like, anywhere else. Put that on your postcards. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> you know? So I was like, okay, San Francisco might be a little, a little, a little on the gay side. I know? think it's San Francisco and then Long Beach is up there. Long Beach Long is like, Beach. Long Beach is pretty gay. Yes. Listen, have I told wow. you the R bar story? No. Okay. Oh, so story gonna, wait, story time with Colton. Okay. So I worked at R bar. <laughs> In Long Beach, downtown Keep Long there, Beach, JD. for two days, dude, and I quit. It was ghetto. It was dirty, right? Yeah. A week after, okay, so the owner, his name is Rick. He drinks at the bar, and he's the owner. His girlfriend's rich as shit. His family's Quality rich. owner. Quality. Quality. Yeah, he drinks there. He gets drunk there, right? Anyway, because he, like, he wouldn't think he's an owner, but he's the owner, <laughs> right? So a week after I left. You go out to him, hey, does the owner know you're uh, drinking? I am the owner. Oh. No, I, yeah, uh, I, right. I bought this alcohol. <laughs> um. So a week or two weeks after I left, right? This is during like it's 2022, like the like the end of peak COVID. Like everyone's kind of get back, but you still have to wear a face mask inside, right? And so he goes down, it's like one Friday night, he goes down the street to a bar and they wouldn't let him in because he's wearing a he's not wearing a face mask. And he's already drunk as shit. And some guy filmed it on TikTok and this guy went viral. Oh, I have heard this. <laughs> this guy sorry. went viral. And this is what he went viral for. He said, F you, you are worth nothing. You're nothing. You're an F. Like, you're a maggot. You're a yeah. maggot. You're a maggot. Obviously, the F word. But uh, and he just goes off, goes off. And this guy, as he's saying it, he says his own name. He says where he works. He says all oh this and that. God. And, like, just incriminating himself, essentially. Yeah. He said, F you, you are nothing. He's like, yeah, I do work over here. I work down the street at our bar. My name's Rick <laughs> Dikesh Desai. That is me. I work at our, I own that bar. And, like... It blew up. Yeah, Protests they, outside he, the bar. He got like, fucked. <laughs> and he still, apparently, he still hasn't apologized to this day. Like he, he doesn't remember. He doesn't like. He's just one of those guys. But yeah. Oh, he he was he was blacked out. So he's like, 
And he oh, like, I he's, I, no, it wasn't me. You he's know? like, oh, dude, like, who cares? I have money. He, like, he thinks he's better than you. So, uh, wow. yeah, that's just a quick little story about Long Beach. Because, because like, Long Beach is a very gay friendly neighborhood. So saying that there, it's like, it's straight treason. You're asking for trouble. It's like, <laughs> as Nick Castiano sits a uh, deep fly ball to right field. But yeah, uh, JD. You had us some uh, some king's corner, so uh, lay, lay it, lay it, lay it. I will us. lay it. Oh, yeah. Look at that! It's time That's for hot. king's corner. Look at that! With me and some of you in the background. Hey! <laughs> uh, hey! Hey! The king, the LA Kings are five hundred currently, are which, they? which isn't terrible. That's just the sports standard. Did the season eh. just start? Too? Yeah, just yeah, started. Six and six. Getting started. Um, my man Gabriel Velarde. Mm. He has eight goals. Ooh. In twelve games played. That's an interesting name, Damn. Gabriel Velarde. Velarde is that Italiano Velarde? Born in Canada. Uh, both parents Italian. That's Italian. hard. That Italian. is hard. Snap finish. And uh. <laughs> He's got uh, 13 points in 12 games, which is, and can someone answer me this in the comments down below, all three of you watching, why was Gabriel Velarde not playing last year? Maybe Colmer can give me some insight. I think they Who's wanted to you? use him as trade bait. They wanted to use him because they knew his potential, but they're like, we don't really need him. So yeah, you want to show off your trade bait. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's like what we talked about five minutes ago. Like the Packers not drafting anybody. Like, what are they thinking? Game. Yeah. What are they thinking? Uh, but Gabe Velarde has they're been thinking that we suck because they're the Packers. Yeah. But sorry. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, Gabe Velarde has been an unbelievable force. Like he's a top. Four he was that MVP player game. in that last clip in the Kings intro. How old Six is he? Snipe. I don't know, but he 24? has hands like a mongoose, dude. Twenty-four, twenty-five. This is his last um, chance to. What? When do mongoose have big hands? It I just don't sounds know sexy. Yeah. It's, it's just sounds I'm not, sexy. I'm not familiar with the mongoose. Tell me, tell, listen. Say he has hands like a mongoose. Say what? It. What is a mongoose? Though? It's a it's a duck or something. It's like a furry. How the fuck does of... that thing have hands? It just has hands like a mongoose. It's just it's <laughs> so unbelievable. <laughs> Can, do you believe what a mongoose looks like? Do you no. know exactly? I don't believe his hands are real, <laughs> but they're real. Let me tell you. Dude, look at the mongoose. What the fuck's a mongoose? You fucking wiggled your way out of that one. Hey, and it was, it's it holds firm, doesn't it? Uh, I'll give you some to hold firm. My uh, <laughs> what is a mongoose? Uh, here's a mongoose. That is not a duck. What is that? <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a ferret looking. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, those things might have hands, but that looks tiny. They're probably scrappy. Yeah, for real. yeah, but dude, Velarde is top four can, uh, MVP. Look at that, that thing biting the snake. snake. Bottom left, holy fuck! Let me see here. Oh, okay. Are these like one of those dude. little little scrappy motherfuckers? Like the mm -hmm. okay. I was like on the, the road. Uh, I was on the road the other day, and there was this Asian guy riding his uh, Nissan, but he's got his fucking left hand on the wheel <laughs> and a little <laughs> python in his hand. No. Bro. I swear to God, oh. I was like, man, this guy gets fast. No way. I'm sorry, bro. I really want to like pull over and cut someone off if they wear their face mask in the car. Oh, yeah. No, what is unless that? It's, yeah, like, what okay, are you unless it's an Uber. Doing? If it's an Uber and someone's in the car, I get oh, that. Oh, that's absolutely. But like when you're driving Alone. and I see nobody else yeah. in the car. Take it off. What what are we doing? Yeah, take no, not take 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 your fucking mask off and then take a lap, buddy. What's what are you doing? What's a driving pet peeve? You're in your own car. Driving pet peeve. Hold What's on, before driving pet peeve. That's peeves, one of them. I have one more decree in the king's corner. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. Fire. Whoa, decree. What a fucking word. It's oh the king's God. corner. I have a. Okay, be so proper then, sir. I hereby decree the firing of head coach Todd McClellan. Get him at. Yes. That's, Get him at. That's, that's, a, Teddy, that's a hot take. No. Is number it? one. Tell me why it's not, JD. Tell me why. Number one. Back in 2014, the Let king. My own Kings beat his Todd McClellan San Jose's San Jose Sharks San Jose San Jose 
They reverse swept them. One of five teams in sports history to do so. Wait, so they went down 3-0 and then won four in a row? Yes, he was oh, the coach of that team. He was team. the coach that blew a 3-0 yes. lead? Has that ever happened ever in the NHL before? Uh, Second uh, second or third time in the NHL. Goodness. Fourth time in, in history of all sports. Only other team was the Red Sox in 04. Oh, Red Sox. Um, I think Maple Leafs are one. The, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. No, Maple Leafs, no. The Philadelphia oh, Flyers, Flyers are one. Um. I, don't think I thought the wings happened. were another. I'm pretty sure it was wings Detroit. Wings way back in the day. And I think it happened. Uh, it's never happened in the NBA. I don't know. Um, but also, he 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 coached uh, Connor McDavid a few years ago and couldn't do crap with him. Wait, he was the Oilers coach? Yes. Oh, get him out. Yeah, and Connor McDavid and couldn't do crap with him. He makes Who, who's terrible. Who's a good like, comparison to NFL standards for um, Connor McDavid? Mike D'Antoni. Oh, NFL. Who's Mike D'Antoni? I thought you say NBA because he said basketball. Like it's like Mike like, D'Antoni. Just a coach oh, who's okay. been around, has has oh, had coach. good teams. Yeah, coach has good teams. Never done anything with Jason Garrett. Okay, so like Mike D'Antoni, always Mike D'Antoni. like really solid yeah, in the regular yeah, yeah. season. Yeah. Finds a way to fucking flop yeah. it, even though they have arguably the best team mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Okay, I and you. just bad lineup management. Yeah. Bad like yeah, just Jason Garrett. Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck that guy. He's Mr. Clapman. Mike McCarthy. Oh, oh that. God. Oh, God. He he won a Super Bowl, so I don't care. Um, but that will do it for uh Jeremy Krueger's King's Corner. Woo! So fire. Tom so McClellan fire and Gabe Velarde is the hottest player in the NHL right now. He's or top. Uh, no, I mean Connor McDavid's going off right now, but he's he's a top five hot player right now. There is so um, freaking hot. He's hot. Okay, BJ, you said uh, you had a question. Biggest pet peeve of yeah. driving? Yeah, yeah what's yeah, your yeah. guys when you just... I got a few. When you're driving, what the fuck pisses you okay, off? Okay, on the freeway, you're in the fast lane, and you're going fucking 60? Yeah. Oh, that's bro, uh, bro, uh, it's got to be a community thing. Fast lane, 80 plus. Middle lane, 60 to 75, 65 to 75. Right lane, you're cruising. 18 wheelers, trailers, boats, fucking <laughs> kids just learning how to drive. That yeah. kind of shit. You're in the far left lane, bro. It's you're you're in it. We're going. We got places to go, people to see, fucking money to make, motherfucker. Get out of my way. Don't hold and my my worst thing is when you're in the far left lane. And you're holding, you got 20 fucking people behind you in the line, and you don't get over. You refuse to get over. One by one, people just keep passing you and passing you and passing you and passing you. And yet you're still going 65 where you are when clearly you should be fucking two lanes over. What are we doing? I'm running out of breath here. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. That's only one of them. I got more. They'll come to me, but somebody I, else. I knows. agree with every word um, of that. I'm going to be kind of in the same boat as you on the freeway. Don't go 100 miles an hour and swerve. That's the biggest thing to me, too. Like, yeah. I'll, yeah. Like, if I'm driving, like, I'm driving 80. Okay, in, in mom. The, Kitty, I'm telling, like, when you swerve in, like, yeah, dude. No, yeah, I got you. We're all going. It's okay. It is okay. You can go. You just go. You don't have to go 120 and swerve and just, like, try like, to hit yeah, it. No, you're going to get past me, bro. Like, you don't have to. Like, go you ahead. You don't have to need go to ahead. speed it, man. Just go ahead. The I, love I of their care. life is getting on a plane, and they have to stop them. Just like, dude, like, <laughs> calm the f down. Fuck you bro. and your rom com, all right? <laughs> chill out. Fuck, if I'm going 80 and you're flying by me, chill out. Yeah, that's but that's that's love. one of my my pet peeves driving. Uh, who's J? I, I know. I, I want to hear BJ's. BJ. Oh man. Let me hear it. You don't need the lights of Broadway to be shining the <laughs> fucking streets at night. I want to see the road, dog. If I'm driving. <laughs> I want to see the road. You are a hazard to <laughs> families. Like, are it's you talking about like big, when you got the LED lights. Yeah, the shine. blue ones, the purple ones, the white ones. Like, like, just freaking pow. You know, it's just so annoying to yeah, deal with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially if it's a truck and you're in a sedan. Yeah, the lights just, are just directly in your side mirrors, and you're, yeah. you're getting it from all angles. The rear, the side. You can't like when get, the sun you're getting triple out. penetrated, it's tough. It's funny. My uh, my dad used to have this really big white truck, and then if people aren't driving like no, a normal person in front of him, like his truck was big, yeah. so any car is small. He would flash his like bright lights, 
into their mirrors and like they would have to cover it. And when he <laughs> covers it, he turns them off. And then right when they put his hands down, he would put them back up again. So, oh so they're just always. God. Oh, he would fuck with them, dude. It was so funny. Diddy. Um. Yeah, people going slow. Maybe not on freeway, but like, if you're gonna make a turn. Into like a gas station. Oh my Give God. it a little bit of gas. My yeah. Man. You're going to fill it up anyway. No, <laughs> yeah. Now, when people who drive fucking Fiat are turning their cars like yeah. they're driving a fucking Hummer that's lifted and extended, <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude. You can you can tighten up that fucking corner, bud. You're, You're not driving hit like, the curb. yeah. Bro, it'll be the fucking smallest Nissan, and I got yeah. a freaking Silverado. Yeah. And you're making you're gonna get corner, white yeah. on me. Yeah. <laughs> I turn. No, bro, I swear. Or no. no, you know what? You know what's the worst? When you're driving behind someone, and you like politely get over and speed up to go past them, and then they start speeding up and driving exactly <laughs> the way you're like, driving? exactly as fast as you're going, <laughs> and you you're just like you were. You were just going 65. Now we're both going 90. What happened? Yeah. What happened? Like, you really that's don't want me one. to pass you that bad? Yeah, that's You were one. just going 65. What's the deal? I got, I got, every time I drive <laughs> on the freeway, I lose about 1.5% of, like, my hope in humanity. Yeah. I'm down to, like, 6%. I don't, I can't drive the freeway a lot longer or my hope in humanity just vanished. It's gone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So um, I either got to see some fucking like miracles happen and like, like a lot of good shit happen, or I'm gonna just keep driving these freeways and people are gonna keep pissing me off and I'm just gonna lose. I'm gonna lose all, hope. all yeah. open humanity is gonna be gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have faith that nobody is good in this life anymore. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. that's what LA traffic will do to you, dude. I have to be in a really bad mood to care. Or like, I have to be in a really great mood not to care. There but it is. if it's a if it's a four way intersection or it's a stop sign and you know you're up next and they just go, oh yeah. Or like or like uh. when someone's speeding and they go like halfway past the crosswalk and they stop. I'm like, well, you're already fucking already. Just yeah, go, just go ahead. Go. Or they don't even. <laughs> no, listen. Like, if I let you go first, put your fucking hand up and say thank you. People, yeah. people are just idiots. Put They're your just, hand. They have no common courtesy. That's I am here. For, I'm here first. But you know what? I'm having a great day. You go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sh- not even a look like, hey, thank you. Yeah. Look at me and give me like a give me the white guy. Yeah. You know, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Don't just. Like you got to acknowledge that I just did something nice and I don't even do it for the wave, but you got to fucking wave. You have to. This I is- hate that. This is going to sound really fat, but this happened to me yesterday at Popeye's. Oh, Popeye's is fire. I had these this couple that could not make up their mind. If you're in a drive-thru... Oh, not in the fucking we got get him get get, get him going, Ooh. BJ. I'm fired up. Get him going. You can't be looking at the preview menu before going up to the menu for real. Well, to be he answered. doesn't know what they're getting Let's from Popeye's. There's like three yeah, things on the menu. Dude. Fucking chicken biscuits or more chicken. Figure it out. <laughs> I mean, the guy's over here is pointing. Hey, you want this? this, 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 this oh, this, is, the, this, is the chicken this, gluten-free? It's like, bro, I got to get home i gotta take these fucking clothes off i'm trying to get comfy but i got this guy like it was just terrible bro like i couldn't imagine it was like 10 minutes and i wanted to honk but i was like you know what i'm gonna just let him do it huh? no not even honk. just roll down your window because his window's down yeah just, hey asshole hurry up <laughs> yeah That's crazy or figure it out something you know? but yeah if you're in the drive-thru you know you pull where you pulled up to you order know- chicken yeah you got an idea of what you want. Let's get. Let's what get are you getting? Here. A hamburger, dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Yeah. Talking about stupid questions. Whoa. I was at work today, dude, and this guy. I swear to God, this happened, bro. This guy asked I don't me, what's the, you. "What's the difference between fish tacos and the shrimp tacos?" <laughs> and what? The shrimp tacos. <laughs> well, I literally sure. said, "I said, well, I said, one's fish and one's shrimp." That's all I said. Yeah, good. And then he was just like, "Oh, okay, I get it now." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> What do you mean? What's the difference? It's funny that a grown man asked you that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, dude, like, and like, I didn't want to laugh in his face. Do you, do you not like pay taxes and are like a grown, sustainable man? He's a time traveler. Before what the fuck? Yeah. And this one guy asked me if our bacon has a nitrate in it. I'm like, what? It's fucking bacon. I don't know. 
He did have a service dog, so maybe he has he's dealing with something. Who the mm. fuck knows if nitrate is in their goddamn bacon? Like, don't they put that in Need for Speed? What? Yeah, the, no, <laughs> you're not gonna get a fucking Nas tank, bro. Like, what do you want the balloons at fucking? Yeah, teenagers wait, head wait at isn't that a stuff shit? you drink to go to sleep? Nitrate? Oh no, that's Nyquil. <laughs> oh, you're dumb. <laughs> you're dumb, dude. JD, come on, you're better than that, brother. I am. That was a joke. All right, man. Is there is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we get into the next part of the day, which is film and reaction videos and tier lists for think Thanksgiving? Of anything else that like really just grinds my gears on the road? There's just so many. I think little... Chunkle has something. I got a hot take on something. Hit me with it. Let me know if you guys agree. I heard this today, and I and I agreed. World Series, right? Mm-hmm. We all know what a no hitter is. Yes. But let's just say a true no hitter is one pitcher only. Ooh. Okay, that's that's good. A that's shutout is when you get no hits. Yeah. That's where I'm going. Pitcher. Yes. That's why I said earlier, if I'm a Phillies fan, I'm fucking scared shitless because yesterday was a combined no hitter. That means your guys couldn't hit any arm last night. Not a guy that just had a hell of a day and he just pitched his heart out. Guys. And it was one guy. So like it. I guess I gave but up the whole you, hot you know, take right there, but I mean, what I was trying to say was like, um, no, ha! a no hitter, a no hitter should be considered. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically, gonna, uh, I'm just gonna for watching die. guys. Uh, it's been real. No, 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 no right, I'm I'll actually. Try, like, I'll try to reel it back in. What was I trying to say? No I, I was trying to say like a hot take is that a no hitter from one pitcher. Should be a true no hitter, the classic and a combined no hitter shouldn't be a no called, hitter at all. It should, it should be a shutout. It's called it should a, be shutout. a shutout. There should be a distinct difference. Yeah. And if you, I feel like if you actually like know baseball, and know the difference. That that shouldn't even be an argument. Shouldn't even be a hot take. I feel yeah. like most baseball fans would agree with you. <clears throat> the only baseball fans that aren't going to agree with you are Astros fans right now. Yeah, because they can be like, "No, nah, man, did they get a hit?" Did they get a hit, man? No, man. It's a fucking no hitter, bro. It's like, all right, bro. Like, shut up. You Astros guys, are you know, cheating like, still. Astros then, are cheating uh, but still. But then again, the like, if you're the Phillies, yeah. you got to think you're not going to face likely any of those same pitchers that you faced yesterday. So if it's any of the motherfuckers that you faced in either of the games that you won, then you're feeling pretty good. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be wearing their fucking blue uniforms too. Is the game today or tomorrow? Today. It's today. What time? I don't know. I think it should be it right now. Right this time, like, in. Last couple couple days. Days. Check in on. Right, should we end the video before we figure that out? They are live right now. It, it is, is one to one. one, one. I have enough. Oh, I have yeah. enough. Oh. Yeah. See, Phil's already gone. They're no. fine. Okay. BJ, I completely 100% agree with you, but I like putting myself on the other side of the argument. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys this. Yeah. And I'm. And let's do it. Let's go it. Let's do it. Let's go it. No, because <laughs> I'm on, I'm on, I'm on your side. Let's do it. Let's go it. Like that. I'm not trying to argue because I'm 100. No, no, no. I just want to like it's fun to just Play you know most, whatever. Whatever. Dick, go ahead. No, <laughs> what like what's more as a pitcher, right? If you are seven innings, you're the starter going seven innings, no hit. You have two more. Do you have more pressure right there, or is there more pressure on a bullpen guy? Like, dude, this is my only inning to not give up the no hitter bullpen guy for sure. right so bullpen i think bullpen. so bullpen. i think it is because it is pretty gnarly pitcher, you're already out there for how many you're just this that's what i'm saying you're just out there you're because you gotta think like okay i had seven no hit if i get a hit the fans are gonna love me still like i threw an absolute gem yeah exactly but as the yeah. bullpen guy, the bullpen bullpen guy no you're expected to come in and close out exactly the so and then if you don't so i think that dude, makes fuck yeah you know so that can make the goodbye no hitter even harder in a way that that is very true there was a lot more pressure true, but at a, at a point it, it's got to become so fucking difficult for that one pitcher especially that ninth inning yeah to get those last three outs because yeah. you've got to be you're you're definitely over 100 probably yeah. pushing 120 oh, absolutely pitch now, absolutely you know what i'm saying so that is I, true I, I feel like open guys are fresh you, yeah, starters fresh. starters on, it's, on it, empty it's, tank. It, mentally it might be challenge more challenging for a multitude bullpen, of yeah. guys to get you know a quote-unquote no hitter, but I would say physically just overall, yeah. Just if you combine physical <clears throat> and mental aspect mm -hmm. of it, definitely did more that's difficult fucking, for one. For that's one brilliant. How that's many? Brilliant. How many innings did the pitcher last night go? Seven, right? Yeah, six, six, or seven? six or seven. 
Okay, well then, fuck that guy. Cause if I'm a professional he, athlete, he was, th- he was fucking throwing. If I'm a professional dirty. athlete and I'm pitching a gym in the World Series, I'm pitching till my socket comes out of my pocket. I'm yeah. gonna get the job done. I get that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just I get that, but then again, like if you're the team, like what if this shit goes to seven and you need homeboy to start another game? Yeah. Who pitched last night? Javier, Christian Javier. Javier. Oh, that's for, their ace, right? He's he's their guy. He's, I believe he's well, other than during Verlander. the postseason. Like for postseason, Ver- Verlander's, yeah, Verlander's, Verlander's, Verlander's is getting rope. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like postseason. Who's been shutting Javier. him out? Javier's been fucking yeah. throwing gas and fucking making people miss I, all I think, fucking postseason. I think he has like a two point three five ERA in the postseason. Like yeah, no, he's been throwing sick shit. Um, so it's like you know, I would. I, I, I definitely get your aspect, but I think that mentality works more with like football or even basketball, something that has a little more physicality going on. Mm-hmm. Cause like with baseball, if you just pitch or you throw your shoulder off, you're fucked for possibly a year, <laughs> year and a half. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like football, you can go out there. Okay. You know, I'm fucked up my wrist. I'm tired. You know, my knees a little banged up. You can go out there and finish the game. You're going to feel like shit. You'll probably be hurt for a week or two, but it won't be anything catastrophic. You know what I'm saying? Like football, if you equate that like kind of injury, if you like dislocate your shoulder or like even separate it, you're you're not going back. You're done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like it it it's like, yeah, you want people to have that dog mentality to where I'm not coming out, but at the same time, you gotta be smart with it and you gotta understand how valuable your you are to your team. Because mm-hmm. your biggest you know, asset is gonna be availability. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it doesn't matter how fucking good you are, if you're hurt and you can't play. You don't. You're not adding any worthless. type of value. Yeah, you're you're fucking worthless. You're not doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So well said. Tell, tell well right said, so, chap. So you got to find the balance. Life is about balance, balance. people. Yin and JD, yang. Balance. The tides. Woo. In and out. Yin and in yang. yang. Uh. When you breathe, it's in and out. You breathe Come in, on. and then what do you do right after that? You breathe out. Uh. I want that's beautiful. I yes. want to I want to end this as my closing statement for the podcast, okay? I was Please. sitting yesterday and I was thinking about the Dodgers, okay? Yeah. Tough. Dodgers can be considered one of the biggest choke jobs in history in the past 10 years, Not right? Not considered. No, 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 no. Listen, after after I say it, it's going to be considered. Okay. They no, have, I mean, I'm I mean like they are like right now. That's like one of the worst but go ahead. No, go ahead. like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about this this year. Yes, but I'm talking about like as a team, the past ten years. Okay. Right. But let's be honest with ourselves. They have two rings in five years. I can, I'm gonna consider that cheating scandal a ring. We we win that series. They didn't cheat. You know what I'm saying? 2017. I mean, completely honest with you. If they no, didn't I cheat, mean, we win. Yeah, but I still can't like even. If... But I'm saying no. I'm like I'm not. I'm just saying we would have won that. Okay. So that would have been a ring right there. 2020, we won a ring, right? But I'm saying this. What are they going to say if the Astros lose this World Series? What are they going to say? They cheat in 2017. That they weren't they were that they weren't ever good enough to actually win it. 2019 they lose. Yeah. 2021 they lose. They lose. Yeah. Yeah, Astros have a tad bit to prove. Here. They do. They, they do. do. They absolutely What do. are they going to say if they lose? That everything's been a fluke. I mean, yeah, they got back to it and like this was their year to kind of prove it, but if you don't prove it then that just makes everybody right about them saying that you can't win without cheating. This is this the only is com- reason you won is still cheating. cheating. This is compared to like Braun making the finals and losing if the first four. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know how Braun's what? What's his record in the finals? Three and six or something like that. Three and six. Three yeah. and six. Four, four, no, he has four. Four and six. Four and six. He doesn't have four. He has four. He has four. He has one in Cleveland. One in two. Oh, two in Heat, huh? No, two one on the heat, heat and one, one, in Lakers. one in Lakers. So three, four, two and two in the yeah. Okay, yeah. I just think that like He's they four, what <laughs> what are they? Oh, I think the Astros are orange four in the zero oh and four in the World Series. Yeah, the, in the past six but, years. Yeah, but in the past six years, my I mean the thing with the Dodgers is like, are they going to be able to keep this? many talented and expensive dudes on the roster for, no like i'm just i just wanted know. to make the dodgers comment this has nothing to do with the dodgers at the end of the day i just wanted to be like i'm okay with at the end of the day you're okay with that loss no i'm not okay with i'm just okay knowing that like you know what 
we got some taken away from us and we actually won. The fucking Astros are 0 4 in the World Series. Mm-hmm. What are they going to say if they lose again? They're going to be 0 5. Yeah, but at least they got there. That's even worse. It's still a loss. I'm nah, sorry. No, nah, no. Nah, no, nah, that's, that's terrible. No, nah, there's something to be said about getting there. No, nah, but there's something to be said about losing after you cheated. Yeah, but like, if you. You know, compare that to the Dodgers. The Dodgers should be playing the Astros right now. No, absolutely. I'm it just saying be. it has nothing to do with the Dodgers. It's so easy for the Astros to get there too. It's like not even funny. Like well, and then the, yeah, Cleveland the Yankees fucking choke job. Fucking Yankees the, are just the, Yankees, the NL is definitely stronger than the AL this year. But like, I don't know. It's like I I get what you're saying about. I just it's an, it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing that the yeah, Astros I mean, and the Dodgers. Like, you, you're there at four out of the six years, and you haven't won one yet. That has to be tough. If they lose it, Houston is going to be in shambles. I'm going to be clear honest with you. Something ha- it has to be GM. It's some of the GM or the coaching because they have, they have the talent. They have the talent. I mean, I feel like all the same things could be said about the Dodgers, though. No, that's what I'm they, saying. You know, like, uh, no, like, I said the Dodgers. Everybody, are Astros, everybody wants fucking you know Dave out of there. They want they want to shake up and manage man. Like, there's no dude, way. I thought I saw the- today at, at work about like Dave talking about his infamous stolen base in the playoffs, bro. That's his only thing he has to talk about. That's kind of sad. Hmm. That annoys the fuck yeah, out of me. How about you talk about winning a fucking pennant? Oh, wait, he can't other than fucking 2020 because he can't fucking. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, like your biggest like, accomplishment on the Dodgers is, is you talking with, about the fucking playoff steal. Yeah. <laughs> like, I will let's defend go. Andrew Friedman till the end. He has shysted team after team, year after year, to get the best players. At, I'll I mean, give you look that. At our the, ro- the roster roster. is yeah. ridiculous. It's on the. Dave Roberts, I still don't know either Dave Roberts or the players. No, it's like not no, all. no, it's, it's not Dave. It's I'm, not I'm Dave at all. At, at all. It's it, not Dave. It, no, no, because he was pulling guys when he shouldn't have been pulling this, them, like shit like that. When like, he coached that seventh inning, that's bro, his fault. But you bro. can't. He can't. He doesn't hit. He doesn't bro, but pitch. that like that that shit. That's the momentum of the game right yeah. there. That is that that can arguably be the game because if you make that one small tweak, who knows the outcome completely changes. But you, I, I just. I don't know. I just, I you just know, think- you know, your organization is is good and has done a good job when you got multiple teams building around themselves to beat you specifically. Yeah, like the Padres. I know I keep going on and on about those people, but they got freaking Darvish. They got uh, who's the lefty? I'm blanking. No, no, no. They got like two. Uh, bats to Soto. try to, yeah, Soto to try and just like compete with us. So yeah, it's like, and they and they beat you. They did, and so it we'll worked. Take, it it worked, but I mean for so the, what's your, for the what's price. Your complaint? Of, my complaint. I don't have a complaint. I'm saying I'm agreeing with you guys saying how good of an organization and what we've done. Like Dave isn't the problem. Uh, but, Friedman is doing his job. Like okay, but my thing is, bro. Like you've had this much talent for this long and only one title. Like yeah, but you can't. You can't like, blame a coach for that, though. I'm sorry, you can't. No, nah, it's not. It's not all just go. But like, after the last couple years with the talent that they've had, you there might be an argument to you just at the end of the I, day, it's you, getting you hot at the right the, moment. The, the, we the talked Padres about this series, two weeks the, ago. The yeah, Padres yeah, series, yeah. I think it was it was more so players, but I think overall, like. But my thing is, is there a better manager out there to replace Dave Roberts? Nah, there's no. It's, I, I you know, that's I my found thing. the recipe. Ding! If I could put a light bulb over my head, BJ said it, what? and I think this is what it comes down to: getting hot at the right moments. Yeah. When was the last time? I mean, 2020 was a weird season. Whatever. When when was the last time in the past decade the Dodgers were like playing hot season. going into 2017? The no one, dude, okay, no one yeah. was even close to us 2017. I'll no, yeah, be honest. Yeah. That yeah. was the greatest Dodgers but team I've ever seen. Most of these years, yeah, the Dodgers would. clinch in like early yeah, freaking true. September. Yeah, And then we just like, they coast. Let up. They yeah, coast. and then they just coast. Think, think about the last couple World Series. Who Who's won, like, off the top of your head? The Nationals? And uh-huh. beat right about now the Phillies? Like, when were we ever talking about them ever, ever. Yeah, the brave you know yeah. no i think this is the first year a team that has that beat the dodgers hasn't made won the world series because the padres lost braves beat us yeah this is that's the first year oh, since wow, 2017 yeah, you're right, that, right. I like cubs, that stat. the, yeah, the cubs Ash, beat us it was, yeah, it was at, the, 2016 2016 cubs, cubs. astros Red don't Sox. say astros don't don't say the astros okay not, no 
We relax, ignore that year. Relax. I'm relax. just kidding. I'm just kidding. And Nationals. Nationals. And Braves. And then yeah, and then yeah. they won, and then the Braves, mm-hmm. and then yeah, this is the first year. First year. So I mean, yeah, there's a lot of success to be had, but like at the same time, I feel like aren't you a little disappointed that you only have one ring to show for no i get the 2017 that that definitely you so you you really should have to i'm you, infinitely you really should have disappointed two. no i'm not saying i'm not just this is a terrible like i it's disgusting but i'm saying like it's gonna be studied for years to come like yeah. this specific padres series collapsed it's gonna be a case study. Like yeah. 20, 20 years from now, people are gonna be like, "Hey, you remember that fucking twenty twenty two Padres fucking yeah. team? You know, they beat the best team to like, ever fucking play a game." Yeah, this is yeah one of the most fucking talented teams ever assembled. <sighs> they took down. Damn. Yeah, but like at the end of the day, why why like no one is talking about the fucking hitting coach? Here's the thirty. How are 30. you not? No, no, listen, listen, listen. Like, how are you gonna blame the GM or Dave or like? When fucking guys are going, you gotta, like, you're going over seventeen with runners in right, position. R I S P. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm saying. Shit. Like, oh so, yeah, no. Nah. I, I give it was home. that. It was fifty. I would say it was fifty fifty. Fifty like Dave and like you know. His it's like man. ninety ten. Hmm. You think it's ten percent on Dave for that seventh inning of pitch of the the bullpen? He he can't manage. But he, listen, the problem with Dave is he doesn't he doesn't have that gut feeling. Yeah. No. He's going with the numbers. We numbers. all we He's all watch analytics. sports. Or we is all, it just his, we're all the, we all watch sports. We know. The the feeling the moment Dave doesn't live in the moment he he goes off stats and like at like there's a certain point in sports where go stats don't mean gut. shit no yeah. it's about fucking mentality throw those fucking I stats turn, out the door fucking yep. grow up hair yep. grow, I call what off. you feel in your heart man I no, but, turned off the TV when we were leading three to two no listen listen <laughs> I got home from work that night and we had bases loaded one, like no outs. Really? We scored one run, and I knew, I swear to God, it was over. I was like, that's it. That was our only chance to capitalize. And for the Padres to get out of that inning, that momentum fucking flipped. You cannot you cannot just suck ass with running scoring position every game. Maybe one game. Yeah, it, the, even the LDS is scary. You can't maybe, get up a game. Maybe one game. Maybe one. It's okay to have a but slump. With, with, like I keep saying, that much fucking talent can't go 0 for 19. That's what I'm saying. So and not drive anybody fucking in. That's dude, like fucking Mookie played like shit. Tre- the only one that showed up was Freddie, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Freddie, yeah. Freddie Freddy was good. All, like you said all year, he yeah. should have been a fucking all star. He's the only one that was consistent mm-hmm. and actually showed up like a fucking. Professional. He's the only- everybody else was being distracted, fucking moved like you know playing to the you know next fucking series or whatever. Nobody felt ready to fucking win outside of. Freddie Freeman, which is funny because this is his first year here. He's the one that shouldn't be setting the example for what a Dodger should be like, but yeah. yet he is because he's a consummate professional. He's been like this his whole fucking career. There were, you know, there fucking, was at bats that Freddie had, and I was thinking, like, damn, this fool's getting ready to go to Atlanta and kick some fucking ass. Like, who, yeah. who was, he, he, was he, getting he wanted to? And who, could tell. Like, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the fucking Padres did it, but they did it. And, yeah. and everybody hit like shit, bro. Justin Turner hit Justin like Turner shit. Was it was over. Hit it's like over. shit. Trey Turner hit like shit. Mookie hit like dog shit. Not just one game, like you said. Multiple. If no, yeah. no, we still have ten more years of Mookie. Don't worry. No, Jeez. okay. And then if Dave Roberts sets the lineup, shame on him. But the fact that you don't start Bellinger another yeah. game, this Some, series, yeah, somebody, somebody sorry. even Joey sorry. Gallo. Sorry. Yeah. Why Bring Joey Gallo. Gallo didn't play a second? I'm sorry, bro. I'm done. Somebody, I'm, done. I'm done talking. I'm that's done talking. Dave. Gotta... No, no, no. See, no, there's a GM sets the lineup too. That's what, like no one knows who sets the lineup. Mm. So it's GM Dave. You, you think fucking what's the GM has more power of the lineup yeah, oh, yeah. than Dave yeah. come playoff? Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, the, the thing the really. thing on Dave Absolutely. is a lot of people say he's a just a puppet for the front office. Ah. And you know, each team's different. You know, sometimes that's why they won't fire him yet. Yeah. He, he'll just remain yep, the scapegoat. That's exactly and the because reason. the GM I mean, yeah, he's bringing in good guys, but if you're also making those same mistakes that are costing you, yeah. Yeah. Like you can't you can't scapegoat. Now, see, like I that. highly doubt Andrew Friedman's calling down to the dugout in the seventh, saying, "Hey, take this guy yeah. out." Yeah, but setting the lineup—that's him. No, I see. I don't know. I don't we know just, how no much knows. of it's a, a conspiracy. Stay. Yeah, I don't know what the like who has 
like what the percentage is. Okay, guess, that's an so. issue though. I feel like because like front offices that are run well, that are championship mode, they have distinct roles. You do yeah. this, GM yeah. handles this, coach, you handle this. You have distinct assigned roles, and if yeah. they they bleed into each other and you don't know who's doing you you have this much say so on this it's not gonna work well you gotta have fucking boundaries you gotta have fucking set fucking way of doing things and that it just feels like they don't yep you know and it it shows it showed this year we need a dog it may, you know what i apologize if it's if it's correa but it's we need someone like correa Good backtrack you guys agree no you don't I, agree? I, like, I, I said like. I, know, oh, I, like, I agree like, with you. They absolutely. need somebody with a dog absolutely. mentality. Like, yeah. And like, yeah, that's yeah, why I, I also that. feel like that with Dave Roberts. The he's a great like manager, Correa. but you need someone to light, light someone up in that dugout. Puig was one of them. Puig started that. A guy like Correa minus the cheating. Okay. I 100% agree. There you go. That's a compromise. We agree. Look at us. We came to an agreement. But I want I want a cheater. All right. We can finally end this episode. Yes. I'm just kidding. I want cheaters on my team. All right. Guys, we love you. We'll see you next time.